During the start of this season, the Serbian savant Nikola Jokic has been on a tear and trust me, he's been must-see TV with the Denver Nuggets. Over the last 5 games, he's dished out 60 assists while turning the ball over 9 times and to go along with that amazing facilitating, Jokic has also poured in an average of 32 points on 55% shooting from the field. Now as you can see, he's averaging a triple double in this span as teams are really having a difficult time stopping him. For opposing defenses, it's really pick your poison on how you want him to affect the game. It all breaks down from his passing, to his scoring inside, and then his ability to make jumpers as well. It doesn't matter if you try to smother him like a mom does to her kid on the first day of school, Jokic will spin about that mess and place it softly through the net. When he's locked in all the way, upon receiving the ball, he has no care in the world about the defense as he gets right into the pull up knocking it down with no space. Hey now, it can get nasty on the offensive side, but let's say Jokic needs to play director and set up an action, then he can point Watson to go set this back screen on Grayson Allen, now Reggie Jackson is free on the cut, KD doesn't switch, so now Jokic can float it up for the easy assist. I mean you tell me, what aspect of his game impresses you the most? We're gonna highlight all three today, but to start it off, let's talk about how well Jokic has been setting up his teammates. As the defense, you have to get back as quick as you can, because if not, then Jokic will totally shred your defense with these quick outlets, and before you know it, they're already scoring at the other end. Off these rebounds, the first thing he does is look up the floor to see if a teammate is en route for the money ball, so once he sees his intended target, best believe he's throwing it with some accuracy. If you watch here, he turns defense into offense on this play, and it's only one dribble before Jokic floats his pass over the top and leads it out in front of MPJ so he can stay in stride to flush it home. As you can see from those couple plays, he has a ton of value on the open floor, but his passing skills really get special when you drop him in that half court setting. With Jokic, you have two ways you can work the offense around him. Either set up plays and he'll make the right read within the action, or you can let the offense just free flow through him and he'll use his brilliant IQ and vision to dime up the open man. I can't stress this enough, all you have to do is keep moving and Jokic will find you. As here he's already scanning the floor and darts a bullet to MBJ on this deep cut for the short corner jumper. Like come on now, you really shouldn't let a high volume score like Porter get loose or else Jokic can deliver these quarterback dimes in the blink of an eye, making you pay on a deep ball connection. Not only does this apply to MPJ, but also Reggie Jackson who's a 41% 3 point shooter at the moment, so when Suggs decides to collapse on Jokic to slow him down, it's an easy float over the top to this slot area and it's bombs away for Jackson. This Nuggets team is filled with snipers all over the floor, so if you leave to go double Jokic in turn leaving someone open, then you better hope it isn't one of their shooters or else this will be the result after doing so. Since he can score and pass the ball so well, you'll see the defense rush him when he's in the pocket, but even though he may be surrounded by three Houston Rocket defenders, Jokic says, <laughs> Sensational. And slings this out to MPJ for the splash. It really sucks to give up those looks from deep for the defense, and not only does Jokic exploit them with the perimeter fastballs, but he can also dissect the defense with the drops to the cutters inside as well. Driving to the left side of the floor versus Phoenix here, with him having an elite soft touch floater, it makes the defense bite hard on this gather, but as a help defender, you can't afford to be out of position because that's when Jokic audibles the play and dumps it off to Watson so he can go slam it all over Nurkic's head. The patience he has allows him to be able to wait for plays to develop, but when you add in his quick reaction timing as well, here's where you see him be able to turn and lob it over to Najee after attracting the double for an easy one in close. The passing of Jokic is truly on another level, and to be honest in my opinion, I think he's the best passing big we've ever seen in the NBA. His ability to set up teammates does so much for the Nuggets, but that's just one aspect the defense has to worry about, as next here comes his brutal scoring. When he catches in the paint and notices that there's no shot blocker immediately in view, as it's only Grayson Allen contesting him, Jokic just pulls out that elegant floater and sinks it right over the top. When you look around the league, it's not many bigs that have that soft touch on the ball to pull this off, nor do they have the handle to shift a defender with the behind the back, and then as he gets deeper in the paint, instead of clashing bodies at the rim, he's able to use that floater to get the bucket inside. I mean trust me, it gets ridiculous when it comes to Jokic nailing these short floats, as even Wimby doesn't affect the shot here as Jokic just puts it high in the air banking this right off the glass. Slowing him down inside is really one of the most difficult matchups for defenders simply because how versatile Jokic can be around the rim. But hey, let's say he happens to miss the initial shot, well if you don't work hard enough to get that rebound, well Jokic will get it right back and then with some ridiculously quick footwork, he throws up this hook with the left and sinks it leaving the magic bench astounded. 
If it's your job to guard him, then you have to be aware of that footwork or else you will fall victim to one of these quick spins and then get baited into fouling as he switches up the pace on his two steps to the rim, converting the and one. Now if you watch closely, you'll see on some of these spin moves, Jokic will have the defender's arm trapped between his body and arm, which totally makes him a non-threat at this time and he can go lay it in with ease. You can see on that last play, the defender got mad as Jokic went on to get an and one but also on this spinoff it happens again and you'll see Alperin Shangun get swung around like a ragdoll before showing his frustrations to the ref. Now you all tell me, is this cheating or is this just being creative on the court? It's not like Jokic leans on hooking the defender's arm or even intentionally does it, but hey if it gets you to your spot on the floor and the ref doesn't call it, then I guess it's free game. Sometimes when he spins out the post, he'll be met by multiple defenders who rotated for the help but that's when the patience and reaction timing I talked about comes in and he can use this step through through all this traffic and reverse this one in on the other side of the rim. Yeah, just when you think you have him where you want him, he shows you that he has a counter for your scheme and other times out these post ups, he won't always spin towards the rack as instead he'll spin back off the defense to nail one of these mid range jumpers. The other night as he was battling with Nurkic, Jokic spins out towards the baseline, but if we rewind back and look how Nurkic reacts, you can see he lunges back a little as that's where he thought Jokic was headed, and with just that one mess up, it opens up this jumper even more for the knockdown. His touch in this area is improving greatly, and when you see him dropping these middies off the dribble fading away, it makes you do one of these with your eyes. With him having such a high release point on the shot, it makes it nearly impossible for defenders to block him straight up. With him having such laser focus on the court, it makes it to where even if he gets knocked off balance a little bit, he can still connect on the jumper. And then with his passing being a threat to the defense keeping them on high alert, this is when you see him left wide open in the middle of the floor to pull up for the warm up J. It's been a masterclass performance night in and night out for Nikola Jokic, and opposing teams are just lost when it comes to guarding him. There's honestly just too many ways he can score, pass, and direct things on the court that even if you take away one thing, he has tons of tools in the bag to use at his disposal. The Denver Nuggets sit at 14-2 atop the Western Conference, and behind Nikola Jokic and his amazing play right now, they look like they are on track to have a great season and deep playoff run. It's still early, so I'm not going to make some set in stone predictions, but what do you all think of Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe before heading over to watch this Orlando Magic analysis. I thank you all for your support and I'll see you in the next video.